so let's go back to this little mash network we got going on in. And I'm going to go back to distribute node. Um, and it's going to give us one, 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 one. And I think I might just make the original bigger. Coolio. And let's select that. Let's try an incloft. Constraint, let's go over terrible surface. Let's see if this works as well. Um, let's just go to the constraint and we're going to get the strength down. I may be getting the wrong way, I haven't done this for ages. No, there we go. <laughs> Awesome, that works as well. Okay, so let's just pull the strength up a bit more. Pretty neat. A bit more. Let's see if we can break it after it's rolled down here. see if it works now with in the distribute mode see if we can add some more and whether they also get the same constraint so I can see the constraint it's whether they work or not is the other thing this is kind of new ground here tell so that if I just take that constraint down again we'll be able to see a lot better. Let's try it now. It's tearing, tearing, yeah they will tear. So <coughs> the constraint is being replicated by the mesh network as well which kind of going to lead to a whole bunch of possibilities which is quite interesting. Anyway you guys it's fairly simple to set up. Um, I'll just quickly show you. Let's just should we start a new scene? Well, let's just get rid of the repro mesh, um, and I'm going to get rid of all of the dynamics. So yeah, we've just got just got this little group of polys. So if I just go in here now, I'm just going to create a cube. Um, and I'm going to smooth that cube. Mesh smooth. Cool, that'll do. Um, and I'm just going to go into mesh. I'm going to create a um, mesh network. So we can see that. Um, first thing I'm going to do is put a transform node on it. And I'm going to connect up a uh, locator so we can move it around quite easily just stick it over here then I'll just go back into the distribute node I'm just going to turn this to a grid again we could just pull that out like that yeah cool so we could add dynamics to this now we could add um, mesh dynamics to it or we could just use the repro mesh as a in cloth but I wouldn't mind doing the dynamics here on the mesh uh, attribute because we'll get some uh, extra extra dynamics kind of for free so we've got the bullet solver there now and with the colliders I'm just going to drag in the various collision objects like so just collision objects so let's just rewind and play that. We should just start bouncing around. 
cool, cool, cool. Um, so that's that. So quite simply now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the repro mesh. So this won't work within an instance. You have to be using a repro mesh. I'm going to create end cloth out of that, and I'm just going to grab this, 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 and this, and I'm just going to go end cloth create passive gliders. So now that's an end cloth object as well as a mesh object, and we can see that it's soft because it's deforming. I don't know if you saw that there, but there we go. forming which is awesome and we've still got the ability to go back into the distribute node and create more of these in any way we see fit so that still works which is great um, and we can add other effects to it could add an explode node whatever but it just kind of opens up like a whole new area to explore I'm not especially saying it's usable um, but it I mean it may well be usable for something I mean to be able to get soft bodies working on mash I wonder if I could get um, some kind of destruction going on um, so yeah so yeah, obviously the benefits are that we can add and subtract more objects on the fly, um, to, but retaining the end cloth connections. That's the cool thing about it. You don't have to go and create more end cloth objects. That you can just continue adding end cloth uh, attributes through the mesh network. So we can move all these around. Whatever we can change this into a spherical object radius down get some more objects in there um, just pull that radius out a bit uh, maybe I want too many going on here so we can still animate it as well which is very cool um, have to be careful though because we could end up making a real mess being as this also end dynamics um, we do what can we do what can we do so many possibilities let's go over radar radial should i say uh, let's just grab that locator bring it up here and play that so it's working nicely but now because it's end cloth we can go in and give it something a little bit funkier i don't know let's try something like lava So we see we've started to retain the shape some more. And it's just kind of melting when it's hitting the surfaces. See that? That's really cool. That's really cool. See? This is what happens when you just explore a bit. Um, yeah. There you go, guys. Just get on and start having some fun with it. Cheers.